Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to use uh, Delta's HMI and uh, Delta PLC. Uh, I am going to use Delta simulation, PLC simulation and HMI simulation to show you how uh, this environment works. So let's create a HMI project first. I am just clicking on new project. Uh, basically I am using uh, DOP software. Uh, 4.0.16 so this is the latest one I guess so let's create a new project and uh, so here you can select uh, your HMI model that you have in hand or just select uh, anything if you don't have and you are just looking for a, a simulation environment how to do PLC simulation here so I have created 107BB and Say this sim HMI tutorial. Okay, leave everything else as it is. Click next, and uh, yeah, here uh, we have two communication device uh, programming or communication device settings. We can make changes to this one uh, whenever you want from the itself so I'm just going to leave it as it is make note of the default password here one two three four six seven eight that's all so this setting we will use in the later stage I will uh, show you how to create a simulation PLC and uh, we'll come here later so now we have a HMI screen empty screen here let's create an element let's create a simple data display we are going to create a numeric display so let's change the feel of it so you can see the read address and uh, yeah, read offset address is none here so before doing anything we will just create another project in Delta ESP soft. So I am create, creating this using ESP soft version 3.17. This doesn't matter, but uh, if things look a little different, uh, you may be using a different uh, version of ESP soft. That's all. So I am creating a new project. Let's say my sim PLC. So I am going to select the PLC type here as DVP AC because I have a DVP 12 AC PLC with me. But uh, for simulation, we can select any PLC here. Okay. Now let's go into the Com manager, which is com manager. So this is the software that I am currently uh, using to create the simulation PLCs. So you can download all of this from Delta's website. So let's create a new driver. So PLC. Simulator, it's a DVP PLC with the DVP SDS selected. So, whichever you selected for your programming, you have to select the same for your uh, simulation. So, now we have created the uh, PLC. Let's just save the driver and uh, start it. Just right click on the same PLC and start. It will start like this. Number is already used, I guess, by other PLC. So I'm just going to change the port number. So let's save it again. Let's start. So now the port number is changed to 1006. I mean 10,006. Now we are going to go into 
uh, communication settings and select same PLC here and you can just click OK. Now the PLC is created like uh, the simulation, simulation PLC is connected to the ISP soft. Now let's create a new program. <coughs> create a data project <coughs> it's compiled and uh, it is going to be loaded into the simulation PLC. So just note that uh, here sim PLC DVP simulator is the selected PLC and this is receiving the program and the flashing is done. So now this program is loaded into the simulation PLC. Just go into monitor mode. Now turn off. It's right click and force the input to on so nothing happens why the PLC is not in run mode now we have changed the mode to run and now we are going to turn on so as the x0 is turned on y0 is also turned on and I release all is loaded to your PLC, your simulated PLC. Now let's say we need to, we have created a simple text display here. So we will display something uh, here using our uh, PLC, right? So to do that we will store some value in the uh, PLC and adding another network here. and. Uh, when PLC is in run mode, this M1000 bit is high whenever uh, this PLC is going into run mode. Whenever this PLC is in run mode, this M1000 will be turned on. Now, let's create uh, MOV instruction. This is to move the data. Uh, let's move to D0 the value K100. around okay to d0 okay k is constant you can keep it as number also it, it means the same so let's save the program and uh, flash it to your simulation field is flashed into our uh, simulation PLC. Now we will go to here and select the read address. We will read from the link 1. Link 1 which is the PLC communication address. You can check uh, where the communication is established from this communication uh, tab here. So this link one is to uh, to a delta PLC that we have. Like uh, link one delta delta DVP series DVP PLC, and we will. Uh, so this is the settings that we are using to communicate to our uh, delta PLC. This we can change whenever we need to like uh, change change the PLC configuration like this is the destination uh, of the communication to create a communication between your 
HMI and your PLC. So you may be using the RS232 port of your uh, uh, HMI and your PLC or you may be using RS485. But uh, yeah, this is depending on your uh, physical connection that you make between your HMI and your and the PLC. Uh, but for simulation, we are going to use uh, this right here. So we are currently created a sim PLC for this purpose and I have selected it. So that's all. I changed it to sim PLC. Now I am going to read from link 1. We have used D, D0. Right? We change it to D0. And that's all. It will read the data from D0. Let's compile and we will start the simulation. We will click here the offline simulation. It will start and uh, the simulation is started here. So we have already flashed this program to our uh, simulation PLC. That's why the HMA is showing as 100. Let's see. Let's say we we are uh, we need to change this data. I am changing it to 55, and I am again flashing it to my uh, simulation PLC. Before transferring the program, see here it is 100. Once the program is transferred, the PLC is back in running state. You see here, it became 55. So, uh, we have established the connection between uh, ISP soft and the uh, simulation PLC and uh, HMI program or the DOP soft to the simulation PLC. So, you can create uh, create two buttons here as well. Like, uh, let's, let me quickly show you. I'm creating two momentary buttons. These two buttons will act as uh, inputs to the PLC now. To configure that, we will use uh, some memory address, right? So let's focus on uh, creating another uh, rung here. Yes. We are going to uh, let's say M maybe M zero. Mm -hmm. Here M0 and M1, whenever it's enabled, will cause this uh, D0 value to increment or decrement. Right? So let's program this into our uh, PLC. So 
all the programs downloading to the PLC. Now let's create the memory address. So we are going to use M0 for uh, increment. We'll again click on operating simulation. Okay, now I'm clicking. When I'm clicking, it is incrementing, and then again it is going to value 55 because we are actually loading the value to, to it constantly. So let's remove this and flash the program to the PLC again. Now it is zero as they click on increment. It is when I keep pressing on it, it is going to it is increasing plus one constantly and clicking the button. And when I am clicking on the decrement, it is going like uh, constantly decreasing. If this is not your uh, intended uh, use case, you can do. Change this into commentary by single trigger. Okay, now we have transferred the program. When I click and hold, and it adds only once and uh, it keeps the value. It's not increasing constantly, right? So this is this is it. Like, this is how we communicate with uh, simulation PLC using uh, Delta DOP soft and uh, Delta ISP soft. Let me know if you have any uh, queries or comments regarding this. We will discuss about it uh, in another video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.